Hi everyone, my name is Liz Ritchie and together with my husband David we've been coming to St Andrew's Church for seven years. Before that we lived in Bristol where he was the vicar of a busy parish church. I have had a Christian faith since I was a child but over the years there have been challenges to my faith and I would like to share with you how I found hope in a holiday horror. Let's go back to July 2018. We had just celebrated our 40th wedding anniversary with family and friends and a few days later we're heading to Abersock in North Wales with our lively Airedale Terrier. We were about an hour from our destination when suddenly after a bend in the road we saw a silver Mercedes car approaching us. It was impossible to avoid a head-on collision caused by an overseas driver who was travelling on the wrong side of the road. We were pulled out of the car window and taken to hospital by ambulance for checkups and were finally discharged at 2am the next morning. Over the next few days, we both felt dazed and had headaches, but these gradually improved. About a month later, we had a family holiday in Bergerac in France. Our son had persuaded us to fly rather than drive. After a wonderful week, David was having a last swim in the pool when suddenly he lost the use of his right side. Miraculously, our daughter, who was supervising the children, saw her dad in trouble at the deep end and he was pulled out of the water immediately. This was the beginning of a further nightmare as he needed neurosurgery for a subdural hematoma. This had accumulated and was related to the car accident in Wales. The night before his surgery, I felt afraid, totally out of my depth, and it seemed even worse being abroad. At about 2am, I read an illustrated verse, which I received daily on my phone. All I could see was what looked like a brain and the verse was from Psalm 77, verse 14. You are the God who performs miracles. You display your power among the peoples. I realised later it was actually a picture of the world, but to me at that time it was definitely a brain. I felt as if God was speaking directly to me and was then able to go to sleep. I held on to that picture and verse throughout David's surgery in France and then again a month later in England when the surgery had to be repeated. This time it was on the other side of his brain. Always God provided family members just at the right time. Was it a coincidence that David's surgery in England had to be in Bristol, a place we knew and felt secure in? And was it a coincidence that our daughter had just moved five minutes away from Southmead Hospital so that I could stay there with our young family? To me, these are definitely God incidences, showing his provision and care for us at times of great need. However, I must tell you two amusing things. The first was when David woke up from surgery in France, hearing the nurses talking in French. Since when, he thought, had the NHS made their nurses speak in French? The second was going out for his first walk near home with my sister-in-law, carrying a plastic chair on her back, just in case he needed to sit down. Through all this, my faith has been strengthened, as I have had to keep my eyes on God himself, the one I can't see who gives us hope. I would love you to be able to share in that same hope this Advent.